Today I'm going to show you three ways to tie your. So the first one I'm going to show you is the one that you see me with all the time. It's kind of like, I call it the front bun. What you're going to do is, with your hair wrap, see how it has a print. If you have a print on this side, and then it's solid on this side, you want to um, make sure the printed side is showing. So you're going to fold from the side that, that that's not printed. You're gonna fold that in a little bit, and then you're going to flip it to the back. No, I'm sorry. You're gonna fold it in, and then you're gonna flip it to the back this way, because you want this part hanging down. So, the flip side should be here, in the back, where your kitchen is. So, you're gonna bring it around. You want to hold um, two pieces out like this. Uh, hold your two pieces like this, and you're going to wrap it around and start tying it. Okay, one more time. Hold two pieces like this. It should be secure around the back, a.k.a. your kitchen. You want to tie it around. And squeeze it here because you want it to be tight and squeeze it and turn it just keep turning it all the way till you get to the end I'm gonna try to lean I might be looking crazy because I'm, I'm just trying to make sure you see the whole thing okay then you're gonna take it and you're gonna wrap it around Okay, one more time. Once you have it twisted, whichever way it works best for you, I'm right-handed. If you're left-handed, you might go the opposite way. But you're gonna twist it around in the direction that's comfortable to you. And then see where this opening is here. You're gonna take this part and tuck it in. And you have your front button. All right, so that's the first. The second wrap that we're gonna do is the back bun. So it's basically the opposite of what you just did. <laughs> um, the, well, it's the same thing you did, but just towards the back. So you want this part You wanna tuck it in, tuck your part in and flip it towards the back. Now, normally I do this when my hair is flat. So it might look crazy with my puff. I don't know. Um, I don't have a mirror in front of me. <laughs> so we'll just see how it goes. But the concept is the same. This is like when you want to want to braid it down or if it looks right with the puff you can do it that way too so all right let me try to turn to the side with this one it's towards the back you know take your two pieces and turn and um do a twist with it. you're gonna twist 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 The next one I'm going to show you is the halo braid. And this is very, very, very pretty. So, you want to kind of do what you did. 
for the halo braid you want to tuck it in just like you did with the other one and take the whole one thing and just twist it Or you can twist it. As you go around. And take it and tuck it towards the back. And to make it look neat, you want to pull any loose ends you may have. And just tuck it. But this will be your halo braid. You can take any ends that's kind of loose. And tuck it underneath. One more way. I'll give you one more. So, you know how I told you about the front bun? Take your pieces, your piece, and just start wrapping it. Get creative with it. And you want to do this in front of a mirror. I don't know how this is looking. You can just wrap it and tuck it in wherever and just kind of flatten it, make it blend. kind of make it flow and blend like uh you want to just play with it until it look the way you want it to and of course your hair is going to be flat right here where is mine it's not all right so that's all for this tutorial with hair wraps let me know what else you want to see and i will see y'all later